Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. Today we are at the Fountain Blue Resort and Casino, a resort that is over 20 years in the making and we are so happy it is finally complete. We are here to check out the new Promenade Food Hall and savor as many of the stalls as we can. Yep, that's right. Uh, we're going to taste as many things as we possibly can, show it off, give you our honest opinions and thoughts. So stay tuned for this ultra delicious high-end luxury episode of James, James and, and Paul, Paul Try It All. All. This place does kind of remind me of a place that you would want to spend New Year's Eve at. Yeah. In a tuxedo. In a tuxedo. Dressed up for Vegas. So we really should get tuxedos and do the whole tuxedo in Vegas thing sometime. Yeah. You know, yeah, we should. That'd be fun. I'm loving this escalator though. So hidden up to the second floor, there is Poppy Steak. This is the steakhouse that is known for the $1,000 briefcase tomahawk. Hi, Poppy. This picture probably says it all about what the vibe of this steakhouse is. <laughs> I, I don't know if I would do a $1,000 tomahawk though. Thank you very much. Thank you. All right, we've got our bagel. Let's go ahead and sit down and give us a bite. Alrighty, friends, we've got our everything bagel from L Bagel here. Uh, look at all that seasoning on there. Nice, hefty amount of cream cheese. I'm excited. I love an everything bagel. Let's give this a taste. So there's a half Perfect. bagel for you, half bagel for me. Now, are you a, do you eat it like a sandwich or do you separate it? Um, typically I separate. Yeah, I'm a separator. Like, I like to enjoy my bagel in two different portions here. So, it's almost like an Oreo cookie. You gotta kind of like twist it off there. I've never actually had them serve me a bagel though, like in sandwich form, squished together. I love that there's seasoning on the top and bottom. That's beautiful. And it's not I just, just noticed that. It's not just on the top of the bagel. Mm. Shall we? Yeah, shall, yeah, we shall, yeah. Oh, mm. oh my, that's a good bagel. Mm -hmm. That cream cheese is delightful. Creamy, a little, you know, just cheesy, a little bit, you know, sour, tart, the way that a good cream cheese should be. It's nice and fluffy. What was it, like six, seven bucks for the bagel? I mean, yeah, don't get me wrong. It's an expensive bagel, but it's good. But for Vegas prices, six dollars for a bagel is not bad. I will definitely say that I am in love with this bagel. If you're at the Fountain Blue, this is an excellent breakfast option. Mm -hmm. Just check out, you know, just check out the bake on that. It's so nice and soft on the outside, but crispy, hard on the outside. You know, the best possible way. You can, you know, yeah. you, you can hear it as a, I'm tapping on that. Perfect bake on this bagel. Hmm. Wonderful crunch. Well, rather than get another one, we still have plenty more to do. Right, with the we, food hall. we still have to hit up all the other stalls, so uh, unfortunately, I can't get another bagel, but that's all right. Gives me a reason to come back. So, we are here at the roadside taco stand at the Promenade Food Hall, and we saw that their breakfast menu has a Chila Quiles burrito. I just have to know what this is like. All right, guys, we have got our Chile Quiles burrito. I've never had Chile Quiles in a burrito. I know, like I have never had Chile Quiles in this form. Not anyway, let's uh, let's get into this because I'm excited to eat this bad boy. I'm gonna take this guy. You wanna take the other one here? Yep, I'll take the other one. Oh man, that is a gorgeous looking burrito. All right, cheers. Cheers. <laughs> I have things I want to say about this. Oh man, it's so good. It's amazing. It's so good. It's so good, what? Now my first impression is, I didn't realize that you could put chilaquiles in a burrito. Why don't more places and make chilaquiles burritos? Oh my God. But what's really amazing about this burrito is you have the chilaquiles right here in the middle, but surrounded by like a bunch of eggs. So it's almost got like a blanket of egg, egg that, avocado, like a little bit of like pico, It's cheese. got everything in it. Like, and the, the cool thing that I really noticed the first bite is you get that tasty flour tortilla on the outside, but then you immediately taste the corn from the tortilla chips mm -hmm. inside. What a beautiful, wonderful contrast of flavor. 
I didn't realize this could be done. I, we need to make this a bowl. I want chili can leaves burritos next weekend. Do not sleep on this. Mm -hmm. Great choice for breakfast. I mean, this is better than the bagel, I can't lie. Yeah. Um, the bagel was good, but this is like mind blowing and it's very unique. Highly recommend it from a roadside taco. Definitely get the chili quiles burrito for breakfast. I just want to say that Madonna is playing in the background and this resort and hotel knows its clientele because Madonna... Guys, oh my God, the Fountain Blue. It is absolutely opulent, gorgeous, um, but tasteful at the same time. Like it's not, it's not like over the top. Well, it is, but in the best possible way. So, you know, if you're not subscribed to the channel, please go ahead and subscribe because that will help us bring you really awesome stuff here from the Fountain Blue. Uh, Cause I gotta say, I'm in awe. Alrighty, guys, we've got our slice from Miami Slice, and of all the pizza we've ever eaten on the Las Vegas Strip, I think I say for both of us, this is probably one of the prettiest. It's, I, I have no words to describe how pretty this piece of pizza looks. I know, I can't take my eyes off of it. Uh, watching them as they shaved all the fresh cheese on there. And the way that there's the drizzle of the hot honey, you can see it on the plate that they went back and forth. <laughs> and the perfect crispy cuppy pepperonis with like really great even coverage there. There's gonna be pepperoni in every single bite. Yes. One thing I also wanna point out about this pizza, about the bake, if you look right here, you can clearly see it's crisp. It has enough bubbles in the crust. Oh, and yeah. it's nice and hard. Yeah, firm, crisp crust, but you can also, it has some give. You can tell yeah. it's soft inside, but the outside is perfectly crunchy. I'm ready to give this a shot. Um, yeah. I will take the first bite. All right. It holds up nicely. Looks like it has a beautiful bake. Mmm. The structure is perfect because of the crisp. It's crisp as you bite into it. Beautiful bake on the bottom there. The bake on the bottom, it's crisp, and you bite, and Mm, you can get that crunch. Yes. Yes. Mm. There is an absolutely fantastic crunch to that pizza. The sauce. The sauce is sweet but not sugary. The hot honey adds a beautiful extra like depth of flavor to it. The cheese is creamy and delicious, just the right amount of salt. The pepperoni is, the pepperoni is not as flavorful as some pepperoni that I've had, but it's not lacking flavor. This is a really great slice of pepperoni pizza, and it was like eight bucks. Uh, Wait, I got, only eight bucks? Yeah. We but, paid more for other slices of pizza that are not yes. as good as this. Now, you can also buy an entire pizza here. What? Yeah, you, it's not just a slice counter. You can, you can order an entire pizza. Um, so that's definitely a plus here too. So we're gonna finish this up, but uh, this is getting high marks, I can already tell. They have fancy dim sum. I love dim sum. Duck, pot stickers, gyoza, bao. Uh, it's actually pretty reasonably priced for high-end dim sum. The uh, plates look like they're generally anywhere from about eight to about thirty dollars, which, yes, in the realm of dim sum, that's expensive. But for fancy dim sum, not too bad. We just sat down with our burger and fries from Capone's. This is the Smoke Show Burger, which has American cheese, bacon jam, crispy onions, pickles, and special schmear. Uh, and then we've got the crispy waffle fries. Who doesn't love a crispy waffle fry? I love waffle fries. Right, waffle fries are great, especially when we don't have to get them from a uh, hateful chicken. Anyway, let's uh, tuck in, because this looks delicious. I'm, what should I take? All right, I'll, I want this guy here. Looks nice. And, and this is a nice looking burger. This is a great looking burger, actually. My God, perfectly cooked, medium rare, cheesy, juicy. Oh my God, the bun is soft. Cheers. Cheers. Wow. Wow. 
it's loaded with flavor. I'll take your pickle. I know you don't like that. I don't like pickles, but since the theme of our channel is to try it all, I always get everything as is. That's a great pickle, though. Um, the bacon jam is lovely. The cheese is melted perfectly. It's gooey. It's creamy. Uh, the meat is seasoned beautifully. Now, one thing I do want to say about this burger is that even though I don't like pickles, the pickle rounds it out perfectly. It's not overly acidic. You can't really taste that full vinegar that you normally no, get with a pickle brine. But it gives a nice crunch and it's, a little bit of tartness to yeah, it. Yeah, it has a nice tartness that rounds out with everything else that's inside this burger. I don't hate it. Let's try the waffle fries. Look how cute the little ketchup cup is. I love this. The one thing I do want to say about the Fountain Blue and especially their food hall, they have gone high quality with, with everything. Everything. Even their paper Even their goods. Paper goods. The napkins are thick. Yes. How many times have we been to a food hall where the napkins are just so paper thin? Like these are better napkins that you would get like than an actual sit down, yep. you know, somewhat casual dining restaurant. Um, the ketchup containers. Cute little cup. Cute little cup with a nice little lid, so yeah. you can take your ketchup with you if you need to. Your, the lid on a hinge, even like that's yeah. just adorable. All right, French fry time. It's okay for a waffle. It's fry. a waffle fry. It's not mind blowing. No. It's nothing completely unique, but it's a good waffle fry. I mean, it's good, but it's it's a waffle fry. I will definitely say as some constructive feedback, it needs a little more salt. Yes. Could use more salt. But all in all, Capone's, another hit here at the food hall. And then we have more food coming right up. All right, my friends. Uh, I can't lie, we are getting very full. <laughs> so I think we're gonna be uh, wrapping up. But we had to try uh, the tri tip dip from Nona's. Now, this is. Uh, Tri-tip with rosemary, uh, sea salt, a hor horseradish mayo, and beef jus. Uh, we both love French dip sandwiches. You may have even seen our recent um, comparison of Philippe's The Original and Cole's French Dips in uh, downtown Los Angeles. Both restaurants claim to have invented the French dip. If you haven't checked out that video, we'll, we'll put the link at the end of this video or in the description below, all places. Anyway, um, let's, I'm talking, baby. Let, yeah, let's, let's dip. Let's, let's dip. Yes, you go, you go first. I do love a, me a meaty, juicy dip. Yeah, that's delightful. Um, it's hard to describe how I feel about it because it has a horseradish mayo, and normally I'm not the hugest fan of horseradish. However, it's very light on the horseradish flavor, and it complements the beef very well. Meanwhile, I love horseradish, and I will say I personally think it could use more horseradish mayo, but I see why they don't put a lot. Not everyone loves horseradish to my same extent, where I could slather it in. Um, again, if you saw our French dip video, you know I really, yeah. really, really love horseradish. This is a great sandwich. The rosemary and sea salt add a beautiful flavor to the tri-tip. Mm -hmm. The tri-tip itself, beefy, not overly like fatty or anything. It's actually very lean. It is. I am gonna kind of counteract a little bit and say that it might be just a tad on the drier side. Thank God we have all the jus. But the jus does, the jus, it does make up for it. I don't care if the meat, if meat is dry in a French dip when you have a big, you know, piping hot thing of our jus to dip it in. And this is well worth the $18 for the sandwich. Now one thing I will say about Nona's is they offer other types of sandwiches as well. They all look to be very stuffed. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's, um, it's all very Italian in reality. They have, they have a hot Italian sandwich, they have a hot salami sandwich, and a few others too. I do want to say, I wanted to come in, I, I don't want to sound like I, you know, such a negative Nancy, but I wanted to come in and find something to critique, something I didn't like. And I was trying so hard the entire time to find something bad to say about the food hall here at Fountain Blue. But I can't. No. I, we're, like it's, anything I said, you know, negatively would just be a lie. And that's, it's, it's not doing them justice. Everything has been so good. So just truly exceptional. And it's, been, it's better than some of the other food halls we've been to in Vegas. Yep, this is so good. We're gonna finish the last couple bites and then uh, we'll check in with one last little thing, maybe a little dessert. I, I don't know about you, babe, but I've got some gelato. 
then we shall do some Just, just one scoop of gelato. <laughs> we'll be back in a moment. Alright guys, we have tried five different entrees from five different food stalls. It's now time for a little dessert. Uh, so we went back to Capone's to get uh, some gelato here. Uh, we went with my favorite flavor, which is mint chocolate chip. I know that's a bit of a controversial flavor for some people, but uh, it's, clear, it's, it's really one of my favorite. It's an amazing flavor. Yeah, I think mint makes a great dessert flavor and there's always room for a little bit of gelato. And the good thing is this isn't just a little bit of gelato, it's a that's big scoop. That's a pretty big scoop. Yeah. So let's tuck in. Very creamy. It's oh. nice and soft. Yeah, so soft. I mean, as lot it should be. It's fatty ice cream. Mm. Icy, minty. The mint flavor is great. It's perfectly balanced. It doesn't taste like toothpaste. You know, it is, it works well with the chocolate. There's not a lot of chocolate, but it's there. So you really relies more on the mint flavor than the chocolate chip. On that note, my friends, if you've enjoyed today's video about the Fountain Blue Food Hall, please give us a like, subscribe to the channel, and click that bell icon to stay updated with notifications whenever a new episode of James and Paul Try It All is released. We release a new episode of our uh, series every week on Saturdays at uh, 12 p.m. Mountain Standard Time, Pacific Standard Time. We're in Arizona, so we're in the weird time zone, whenever it changes, but usually tw 11 or 12 on Saturdays every week. Yes. Yeah. Uh, we really hope you guys have enjoyed this episode as much as we've enjoyed making it. You folks are the star of the show. We want you to remember that. We want to thank you. If it weren't for you, we wouldn't be doing this. Um, I want to close the episode and just say this last four days in Vegas has been exceptional. During our trip, we have been stopped by several people, several couples, on numerous different occasions, in numerous different locations, oh, yeah. that have seen our videos, either on YouTube or TikTok, and it's so humbling, it's so unbelievable to, to know that you folks are actually watching and that you're enjoying our content. It really that, means a lot, yeah. because Every time that we've heard it, it really... It's just, it brings a yeah. tear to my eye. And I'm just thinking about it right now and I'm trying to, I'm trying not to ugly cry. So thank you guys for the awesome support. Um, thank you so much. Yeah, we really, really appreciate it. Thank you. I can't say it enough. Thank you. Uh, we hope you've enjoyed. Until the very next video. Bye. Bye. One thing I really love about the Fountain Blue here is that they have stations here where you can refill your water bottles. I have not seen this at any of the Caesars casinos that we've stayed at or any of the other casinos that we have walked through on the Strip. More casinos need to start doing this because when you're walking the Las Vegas Strip, you need access to that water. 